Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. <clears throat> how are you today? Fine, thank you, and you? Fine, fine, fine. Great. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Nice teacher. Excellent. Checking. Twenty seven, twenty eight today, right? Okay. Vamos a ver. <clears throat> Vamos a ver, Ana, Ana Alicia. Carolina. Carolina, no hier Carolina. Carolina Edwin. Present teacher. Nice. Grace Mitchell. Grace Mitchell. Isabel Hernández. Isabel. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Ok. Juan José, Juan José, <coughs> Juan José no here, Karen Janet, okay. present teacher, excellent, y sus camaritas niños, <coughs> todos me van apareciendo sin cámara, me van a regañar a mí porque me van diciendo present sin cámara. ¿Mm? No, present, teacher, ya me conecté, ya me conecto bien. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Great. Luis Edgardo. Luis Edgardo. No, ya Luis Edgardo. Luis Mauricio. Marina. Presente, teacher. Noé David. Noé David. Rosa Hilda. Presente, teacher. Okay. Teresa de Jesús. Yuri Alexandra. Presente, teacher. Excelente. David. No here, David yet. Ok, quiero ver. Hay dos que no me han dicho present. Ana. Oh. Ana, Ana. No here. Yet. Ok, Carolina. Carolina. Carolina, Carolina, no yet. Grace Mitchell, Isabel, Juan José, Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo, ok. Yes. Luis Mauricio, Noé, Teresa, 
David. Ok. Hoy se nos ha pegado el, el tráfico. <ríe> el tráfico de los viernes, seguramente. ¿Verdad? Bueno, let's begin. Remember uh, yesterday we were talking about um, Thank you. Sí. Ya me encerraron. Ok. <coughs> es que hoy hay puya, porque hoy cumple año mi esposo. Entonces ahí están celebrando, entonces me encierran a mí. <ríe> Para poder quedar tranquilos. Celebrating. Imagine. Bacha. Let's see. Remember yesterday we were talking about Ken, right? Can for information and can for possibility. And we were saying that uh, when we ask for information, we can use a double H word, right? Not only, not only a yes, no question, but a double H word. So you say, where can I, where can I stack all these new products? Where can I put this television? Where can I store the boxes? Where can I put my cell phone? Yeah. Where can I sit down? <laughs> so you're asking for information. You can also use can. <coughs> so you can use where and you can use when or how, it depends on what you want to know. Yes? Okay. Now, when we are talking about possibility, talking about, talking about possibility, we are going to use can, right? So you say, can I, Can I be here? Can I stay here? Can you come early tomorrow? Right, is that possible that you come early tomorrow? Can you come early tomorrow? Can you work hard, harder, right? Can you work harder? Can you help me with the with the boxes. Can you open the store early tomorrow? Can you open the store? Mm -hmm. Can you stay up? Can you stay late tomorrow at work? So you're asking for a possibility. Is that possible that you stay late? So it, we can use it not just to ask about stack, right? But you can use it to ask about different things. And remember also that I was uh, mentioning yesterday that you can use it to talk about the uh, permission to, right? So there are other situations. And right now we are going to put into practice a little of what you have learned about it. There we go. Look at the words. What you're going to do here is write the words in order, put the words in order to make questions. Questions with can. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, write the, <clears throat> write the words or put the words in order to make questions. I'm going to share a, I'm going to, let me see here. Let me see. 
I'm going to share a, one link that you will do. But it's a link that you cannot project. Okay? You cannot project it. Just do it. Do it. And then you will read the sentences uh, when I ask you. Check there in the chat. I share the link. In the link, what you have is the sentences. I'm going to, to check in. Ah, it's okay, Grace. It's okay. Bah. So uh, you have the, the words here, or you have the words to put in order here but you're going to do them in the link that I pasted in the chat. Look at the chat. Yes, check the chat, but the chat yes, of uh, the chat of Zoom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Check the chat of Zoom and go to the link. So like that, you easily pull the words, right? And, and, and form the sentences. Later on, you will read the sentences to me. Did you find it?
Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Let me know when you finish, right? We finished, teacher. Finished. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to get a pen here. So we have what, what is it's a question, remember, right? Question. Mm -hmm. Can she play the trumpet? Okay, can she play the trumpet? Yes, and we put the question. Right? Great. What about number two? Can they write emails? Can they write emails? Great. Yeah, can they write emails? What about number three? Can, can I watch TV? TV? Can I watch TV? Mm -hmm. Number four? Can the cat climb the tree? Can the cat climb? Ay, Dios, if it is my cat, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, she can't. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. number five. Can you, brother, draw a picture? Mm. Kind of. <laughs> can your can, brother can draw your brother? No, pictures? the question is okay. My brother cannot draw pictures. <laughs> Let's say, say like, oh, kind of. Nosotros siempre lo molestamos. Eh, because. Yo no creo que ustedes, los más jóvenes, ay, que no me dito, que los más jóvenes hayan conocido a, a Trucutú. He oído hablar. Pero los que son así más o menos de mi edad, creo que sí. Trucutú era una caricatura que tenía los, los brazos así, pero esto de aquí así. Entonces era como usted dibujaba un brazo, digamos, así. O sea, es algo más o menos, ¿verdad? Que, pero aquí el bracito era entre más delgadito posible. Entonces, ese era otro que pues así dibujaba mi hermano. Algo parecido. Así es por lo que le digo, así como que... Mm. Kind of. Hoy ya aprendí un poquito más. Ok, let's see number six. Can the parrot talk? Can the parrot talk? Can ben, the parrot ben, talk? Can you talk? Can the, aquí lo tengo para que sirva de ejemplo. Can the parrot, <laughs> can the parrot talk? No. Bye. Go. No, he cannot talk. He can say, pick. Can the parrot talk? No, he, he cannot talk. He can say, pick, pick, pick. That's it. Okay, number seven. When, when um, can you come? Can you come? Mm -hmm. When? Can you come? Nice. And number eight. What? What can we do? A little copia. What? We do can. Can we do? We do. What we do. can we do? Mm -hmm. Number nine. Where can, Where can our friends have lunch? Where can? 
Your. Our. Friend. Ajá, uh -huh, our friends, right? Como un solo. Where how can long, our friends? How lunch? Have lunch. Where can our friends have lunch? Okay, number 10. How can your system? Yes, how can. How can your okay. sister sing? 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 Mm -hmm. What is correct pronunciation? Sing. Teacher? Yeah, sing. How so can fast. your sister sing? So fast. So fast. Yeah, very good. How can your sister sing so fast? Excellent. Okay, now that we finish with these questions, I'm going to give you uh, about, I'm going to take the time, I'm going to put the timer and I'm going to give you four minutes. Let's have a timer. <laughs> Four minutes for you to write questions. Questions using can as cuatro minutos. Así es, así es. Bye. Four minutes for you to write questions with can. Remember, we can talk about possibility, ability, permission, information. There you go. Time is running now. In four minutes, we will listen to beep, 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 beep. And that means we finish the time, okay? I sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. You're going to write questions using can. Questions using can. Okay, stop, stop.
yo creo que nos hizo trampa, ¿verdad? Yes, no, nos robó un minuto. Two minutes. ¿Verdad? <risa> Qué barbaridad. Yes. Nos robó. Vale, voy a dar. 30 segundos. ¿Ya? <risa> que nos robó un minuto. Yes. <risa> Only right. right. No, one more minute. <risa> one minute. Sí. Oh, thank you. <risa> How come? How come? How can that be possible? Dice que ya pasó el minuto. ¿Verdad? Yes. Ok. Perfecto. Sí, hoy sí, hoy sí le podemos creer. Va. What you're going to do. No, ya tú. Ya. Yo, yo, yo. What you're going to do right now is share the, set, the questions with us. We're going to take turns asking the questions to other partners. Vamos a ver. I need a volunteer. The volunteer will choose the victim who will answer the question. Okay. Me. I'm the victim. <laughs> okay, to we begin to, to begin. Okay, the ladies first. <laughs> who, who said me, Judy? Uh, no, I think uh, Anna. Okay. Uh, do I have to, to share the question? Uh, ask the question to somebody in the classroom. Okay. Uh, Juan Jose Portillo, can I take some photo of you? <laughs> Juan Juan. Juan answered the question. You can say, yeah, sure, why not? Oh no, you can't. I, I add a you because it's a personal question. It's not because I can say only, can I take a, can I take some photo? <laughs> uh -huh, exactly, exactly. That's can why I, I add take a you. Uh-huh, exactly. So you say, can I take a photo of you? Can I take a photo? Because if you say, can I take a photo, can be like, imagine you are in the, you are in the, in a museum or in an art gallery. And uh -huh. then, uh, you can say, can I take photos? And they will tell you, in, yes, but not directly to the paintings. Right, because okay. they will get damaged. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you, Anna. Okay, yeah. who wants to be my next volunteer? Next volunteer. Aha, Luis. Luis Mauricio. Hello, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my question is... Uh, can they can they work all night? Can they work all night? Mm -hmm. Probably. <laughs> it's, it's not it's not convinced. <laughs> no. I will say no, please. No. <laughs> Please don't ask me that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Choose the victim. Choose a victim. Okay, okay. Eh, me no, eh. Hello. My question is, uh, can she eat seafood? Can she eat seafood? Can she eat seafood? Seafood. Okay, yes. can she eat seafood? What do you think? Yes, yes. she can. Probably. Unless, <laughs> Probably unless, unless you're talking about a, a little girl that is only one year old, I would say no. No. <laughs> no, better not. Probably. If it is an adult, I would say like, nah, it's okay, no problem. Good, mm -hmm. good, good, good. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Who will be the next one? No echos. I select uh, uh, Rosa Hilda. Okay, uh, my question is, can she attend a meeting tomorrow? Can she attend a meeting tomorrow? Who? Can Carla attend a meeting tomorrow? What do you think? Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, why not? Okay, and one last question. Ana, Rosa, who? Who will be the last one, Rosie? Uh, Karen? Karen. Hello. Okay, my question. Can you sing music in English? Can you sing? Music in English? Can you sing in English? Yo así como que ni en Spanish ni en inglés. <laughs> 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 like este, sing, sing, sing in English ni en Spanish. Este, si quiere quedar sordo, no. Right? No. <laughs> Can you sing in English? Can you sing? Yes. No, no se escala. Can you sing? Me no, teacher. No, en la ducha. More or less. <laughs> some, some, people, some people sing. Thank you. Some people sing in the shower. Yes. Right? I know. <laughs> uh -huh. Some people sing in the shower. Can you sing in the shower? No. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> no, I I like singing, but when I'm listening to music. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. But in the shower, no. <laughs> but in the shower, no. And alone, only me singing, not either. If I'm listening to music, yes, I can be listening to music and singing. Okay, nice. Well. Now we're going to talk about delivery services. What delivery services can you mention? There are many now here in El Salvador. Yes. I remember that three years ago, it was only you wanted Pizza Hut, call Pizza Hut and wait for them to bring the pizza, right? Yes. Or you wanted Pollo Campero or China. Mm -hmm. China food. China food. Chinese food. You, you called them and you waited for the company to bring it. But yeah. now there are many delivery services. Can you yeah. give me examples of delivery services? The more... Broilí. Broilí. Pero Broilí es un, es un restaurant. Mm -hmm. But delivery, for example, when we say... 
a pedidos. Uber, Uber, Uber Eats, Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Va unido. Uber Eats. No. 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 Separate. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Another. A pedidos. Pedido ya. Ah. Pedidos ya. Medicine. When the, the when you call to the pharmacy, to the drugstore. Ah ha ha ha. And call for your ask for your medicine. Pedido ya. Okay. Pedido ya. Hugo. 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 Hugo delivery. Okay. Hugo mandadito. Así es Hugo con con. Sí. Sí. <laughs> Hugo mandaditos. The promotion. <laughs> Ajá. Hugo mandaditos. Another one. Supermarket. Which one? Uh, now you can call to the supermarket and send them your list and they bring the all the products. ¿Y cómo se llama esa app? Mm, ah, like app, I don't know, just, you just call to, to Super Selectos is the one that I know that can do this services. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have supermarkets, right? Supermarkets that have delivery service too. Uh, uh, that is include the flower shop, it's like pedido, means. In the flower shops, sometimes, sometimes Hugo Mandaritos is the one that goes everywhere, right? Okay. It goes to the gas station to get the churritos that you want from the gas station, or if you want ice or soda. Mm -hmm. It goes the, to get the flowers. If you say, hey, uh, please, can you come to my house? I want to send this to somebody. Okay. Uh, you can ask. Mandadito, Hugo Mandaditos, right? In the pharmacician shipment. What is the name of the of the pharmacy? Because we have Farm Value. That Farm Value has a delivery service, right? It they have a app. Yes. Farm Farm Value. Creo yo. Sí, verdad. I go home. Farm, es que me suena <laughs> raro porque de farm, de, de como que si fuera de granja, pero no es farm de farmacia. Sorry, Luis, do you have a delivery service? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> El brinca cada vez que yo menciono otra farmacia. <laughs> I defend it. <laughs> I defend my pharmacy. Did you be like UPS? GPS, pero GPS. es como más un control, ¿verdad? No GPS. tanto de libre no. service. Ajá. Yes. GPS is more for you. location. Oh. No. Eh, no. GPS is yes. company. De... You. Ajá, yes, you de yes. Umbrella. Like this? Yes, yes. Okay. Apps, like apps. What do they do? Delivery to? No, like you can help me to tell me what is the services that they offer. Mm -hmm. I discovered, I discovered yesterday, I discovered a, a rest, uh, no. it's like a carniceria. It's supercarnes.com. You see, that's that's another it, that has delivery service. So a part of supermarket, super selectos has delivery service. What about Despensa Don Juan? Does it have delivery? No, only selectos. Only selectos. Okay. Mm -hmm. All mm. restaurants have delivery service. Teacher. Um? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because this is a new way to sell your products. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you don't have a delivery services, you're not in this moment, exactly. in the business. Exactly. And now, well, even there are some restaurants who are offering, uh, uh, well, it's not a part-time job, but a weekend job for motorcycles, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's for Saturday, Sunday, when the people don't want to cook. Mm -hmm. So people don't want to cook, then they go and they take, a, they ask for food, right? So restaurants, farmacias uno. Sorry, Luis. Yes, okay. 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 <laughs> Luis is loyally. This is happening. <laughs> restaurants, right? We have restaurants. Teacher, I was looking in in the app. Uh huh. And we and we have. Delivers, yeah, delivery, the, the, all of these are APPs. Mm -hmm. uh, Peridos, yeah, we fast, rush delivery, uh, grow hub, but I don't know, ah, local food delivery. Uh -huh. um, almost are for food. Rush food, like that. Rush food, yeah. That means for food that you want it, but very fast. Right? Yeah, it, it called rush delivery service. Oh, delivery, no rush food. Okay, okay. Oh, rush delivery service. Rush delivery service. One of, of the delivery services is like, Drinks, cedar with beef, liver for drinks. Oh, I don't know where my daughter uh, calls that they bring her Coca Colas. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's go buy. No, ya las pedí. Come on, Avenue. So, yeah. I went to a chicken. Okay, let's get chicken. How old is your daughter? Yeah, with the apps, everything is easier, right? Because the delivery is, is very easy. So I remember today I said like, hey, I want chicken for the dinner. Mm -hmm. And they said, if you want, I can call. I can, I can. And she started with the apps looking for, and say like, look, here and they can bring you chicken. And they got chicken from, okay. Say you the And you say we have chicken for the. <laughs> A chicken for cooking. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they bring you the chicken already cooked. But I uh -huh. want the chicken for cooking, for preparing here at home. Oh okay, brought it. Okay. Ah, from Pedidos Ya is that they brought it. They brought it within 20, 25 minutes. It came wow. from Belfast. Just, mm -hmm. uh, Belfast. Teacher, we have another one. This is beautiful. Mensajería Express. It's true. And they do whatever, right? I don't know, but it, it means negocio. Berto, Mensajería Express. So what are the advantages of them? I am looking and they say that they are envios expreso programados 24 seven business. Mm -hmm. um, this is the only thing that they say. There are some, there is a, a, a service that it takes you, if you want a partida de nacimiento, right? A birth certificate from another department, they bring it to you. That's interesting. Because sometimes you're working, right? And you don't have time. And they do that delivery service of bringing- but they work in 10 countries. 
Russia, Indonesia, Filipinas, Mexico, Brazil, Korea, India, Turquía, and Vietnam. Or it is not from El Salvador. Wow. <laughs> if no, we go to Correo El Salvador, no? Oh. <laughs> to bring things from China. Oh my God. Teacher, eh, pagadito, pagadito. Pagadito, pero pagadito. 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 It's not just it's like for, for money. No. You pay the, the documents. It's like, uh, <clears throat> how do you say? Eh, antecedentes penales. Uh -huh. Pagaditos is, is you pay and, and they eh, go to the certificate and, and, and go uh, um, from the office and they go with uh, go to your house and and deliver the, the document. Really? <clears throat> yes. Wow, that's interesting because it takes a lot of time. Yes. Right. Sometimes it is really crowded and, and it takes lots of time. I use it. I use it. Uh, on the, that is, the name is Pagadito. Pagadito. Mm -hmm. Pagadito. Does it, Pagadito. Does it function in all the country or only in Aguachapan? No. Uh, I pay the, the partida de nacimiento. Uh, mm -hmm. Here in Aguachapan, in the, bueno, la mandé de acá hasta Nueva York. <coughs> es para mi hermana. Ajá. Entonces, ellos, eh, yo pago acá en línea y todo, una la alcaldía, y ahí se llama la sociedad certificada en Estados Unidos y en varias partes del mundo. <coughs> how, mo, how much is it? to send a, a birth certificate to another country? How much? Um, pay uh, $25. $25. Oh, that's For all. For all. Yes, because- You have a birth certificate. Born certificate. The birth certificate. A yes. birth mm -hmm. $25. $25. That's good 25. because- Yes. Sending that through mail, it's, it's, it's a normal more, mail, it's more, <laughs> it's for more, <laughs> for more money. <laughs> and you have to go to the yeah. office to get it and then go to the mail office to put mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Time is money, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe you are paying for the privacy privacy and the security of your uh, that is how do you say in English your your personal uh, information. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But imagine also uh, the, the time. Yes. For example, if you're working you cannot be asking for permission because you want to go to the office to get the certificate and then go to the mail's office to put it. Uh-huh, so it. going and coming, right? Hmm. And they go to the alcaldía, to the, how do you say alcaldía, my To the mayor's office, to the mayor's uh -huh. They go to the office and they pay, and, and they, they make all the, 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 the no sé, situación ahí. Wow, so nice, nice. It's so very nice. Uh, I can. You, <laughs> you found them in in internet, Luis. Yes, yes. Oh, that's good. Good to know. I, I try. I tried it. Uh, uh, I say, well, uh, I lost the money, but I tried. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. And don't lose the money. <laughs> Good because yeah. now, in how many days? Yeah, um, seven it. days. Seven days. Hmm. Yes, seven days. That's great. Yes, it's not. It's not much. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. Let's try it. <laughs> let's try it. Next time. Oh. Just for the experience, let's try. <laughs> Next time we have to send something. another one. <laughs> yeah, pagadito. Pagadito. Okay, sí, now pagadito. we know. Let's put it here. Good, good. Well, now let's go to the next page. Today we are going to talk about going to. Yes, going to. We use going to to talk about future. But check, future when you have decided to do something, right? I have decided to do something. So you say, well, today I'm going to drive my motorcycle. Then I'm going to find my best friend. And finally, I'm going to read my favorite novel. You decided it and then you said you're going to do it right? You have made a decision. You have decided to do it and you're going to do it. So we're talking about future, future plans of, uh, yeah, future plans of something that you're going to do. Now check this. Also, we use it when the situation now makes us believe that. For example, to make predictions, right? To make predictions. You know, something is going to happen and you say, it's going to rain. It's going to rain today. Look at the clouds. It's very dark, right? Look at those clouds. They are very black. Mm, it's going to rain. I remember my mom say, mm, look at the clouds. They are moving very fast. It's going to be cold today. And yeah, at night it was very cold, right? But she knew, she knew just by looking at the clouds moving. Or another thing that she said was, Look at the clouds. When, they, when you saw the clouds, like, como empedrado, decía ella. Look at the clouds. It's, it's going to, there is going to be a shake. Like, a tremor, right? And yeah, it happened. So, that is when you know something is going to happen because something that you see make you believe that that is going to happen, right? You see a woman that is like pregnant and you say, hi, she's going to have a baby. Of course, it's obvious, no? Okay, so these are predictions, but these type of predictions are based on something. There is an evidence right? There is an evidence for me to make this prediction. Any question here? Mm. Okay. In another situation also that we use going to is when we talk about future intentions at the beginning of the year, right? So you say, this year I'm going to save money because last year I didn't save anything, but this year I'm going to save money, the future intentions, right? Or I'm going to lose weight. We have the intention at the beginning of the year, right? I'm going to. So check. When we make affirmative sentences with going to, we have to keep in mind the verb to be. Remember that it is be going to. 
yes? Be going to. So I had to think about the verb to be. I cannot say only I going to play. No, I am going to play. I am going to play handball. You are going to play handball or you're going to play soccer. Yeah. You're going to play soccer. He is going to play tennis. He is going to play tennis. Yeah. She's going to play the guitar. Yeah, so you're talking about future. She's going to play the guitar. It is going to play with a bull. Mm -hmm. We are going to play que? The piano, not too difficult, right? We are going to play chess. Can you play chess? Yes. Okay. So remember, I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are. Yeah. So we should always use the verb to be before going to. Tell me, Luis. In the day form. <clears throat> Is use are they are going to? They are going to, yes. They are going to. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. They are going to swim. Yeah, they are going to swim in the pool. What are they going to do? Hmm, they are going to swim in the pool. Any question? No, teacher, thank you. Okay, great. No question, teacher. Mm -hmm. No question? What about in negative? I'm not. So you say, I'm not going to play handball. I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat today. ¿Por qué? Porque ya comí. Okay. I'm not going to eat today. You're not going to K okay, to travel. Yes. You're not going to travel. Let's move it here. Let's see. <laughs> Let's write them here. Let's check. You can use any verb here, not just play, right? So you say, I'm not going to, to eat lunch. I'm not going to eat lunch. Tell me another verb. You are not going to? I am not going to. To get early to make exercises. Mm. I'm not going to exercise today. I'm not going to exercise today. It's not going to run 
in the stadium. It's not going to run. Where? In the uh, in the stadium. In the stadium. 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 <laughs> in the stadium. Okay. She's not going to. Okay. Why do to cry <laughs> you <laughs> Hoy she's not going to take a shower. Dejémoslo para el lit, mejor el del shower porque si no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's not going to cook dinner. Okay, qué galán. It is not going to take a shower. Ah, sí, verdad? Yes, yes. <laughs> not going to it is not going to take a shower. Recuerde que usamos it para las cosas. Or animals. <laughs> o animales que no son sus mascotas. <laughs> Mi... Then you cannot is, is, <laughs> is take a shower in the... <laughs> The car is not going to <laughs> the car is not going to take a shower today. <laughs> yeah. If you're talking if you're talking about your pet, it's he or she. But if you're talking about another animal, it's it. Yeah. A ver, the last one, we are not going to go to the beach. No, niño, porque hay marea roja. To go to the beach this weekend. No seafood. <laughs> Acabo de comer paella. <laughs> si me morí, ya saben por qué va. <laughs> but check so we are not going to go to the beach this weekend not this weekend Hay marea roja, so don't go to the beach okay questions here questions hmm? before we go to uh, the questions to make questions Vamos a pasar la tanda. Teacher, the list. Sí, ahorita. The tanda. Ok. The tanda. Thank you. Vaya, vamos a ver. Ana. Here I am. Excelente, Ana. La oigo bastante bonita. La oigo mejor. Eso es bueno. Sí, teacher. Eso es muy, muy bueno. Carolina. Present teacher. Hmm. Nice, nice, Carol. Edwin. Present teacher. Great. Grace Mitchell. Grace Mitchell. No here, Grace Mitchell. Isabel Hernández. Isabel. He's not here. No está. Raro. ¿Mm? Raro. <risa> Ajá. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Nice. Juan José. No, present. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Nice. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. Noe David. Present teacher. Ok, te escondido Noé, mire. Ahí está, Noé, Noé, Noé. Está escondido. Ay, ah, ay. Eso, ya lo vimos. Present. Está de Jesús. Teresa, no es ya Teresa. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Right. Yuri Alexandra. Present teacher. Nice. David. 
o no he visto ni oído a David. David, David. No hear David today. Good, Juan Jose. Great. Y David no está. Bien poquito sabemos hoy. Okay. Well, vámonos a seguir, pues. Okay, now with the questions, I'm going to add a page here and we are going to make a couple of questions. Let's see. You will help me make the questions. Ok. ¿Cómo creen ustedes que van? Ya hicimos afirmativa y negative. What about the questions? ¿Cómo van las questions? Le voy a escribir una, una afirmativa. Uy. Me comí la O. It's going to. to zoom in the pool. All day. He's going to swim in the pool all day. Make a question. Okay. Is he going to swim to swim in the pool all day? Mm -hmm. Is he going to swim? Is he going to swim in the pool all day? So you see what happens here. The verb to be comes to the beginning, right? Before the subject, is my question. Is he going to swim in the pool all day? Yes. Yes, he is. Give me another question. Is she, is she going to bed? Going to? Going to bed. To bed. Or sleep. Bed, ajá, uh -huh, or sleep. Uh, Se va a ir a la cama o, o a dormir. Go to sleep. Early. Okay. <laughs> she going to, is she going to sleep early tonight? Oh. Ahí siempre agregándole las expressions of time. Ajá. Is she going to sleep early tonight? Yes. <laughs> yes. Ay, she is. Ok. Mm -hmm. Yes, go uh, home. <laughs> yes, she's going to sleep early tonight. Another question. Tell me. Another question. Yes, teacher, y para eh, dar la respuesta sería yes, yes cheese. cheese. Es como going. cualquier pregunta que usted usa, eh, haría con el verbo to be. Yes, she is. Short. Oh, okay. No, no, she isn't. Short. Yes. She's going to. to <laughs> to sleep early tonight. Y como verdad, nos vamos expandiendo un poquito más. Como buenos salvadoreños. Yeah, she's going to sleep early tonight. She's very tired. Ah, 
¿verdad? Que siempre damos algo más de información. En inglés también usted puede dar un poquito más de información. O puede decir, no, she, she isn't going to sleep early tonight. She has to finish a report. See? So you have different options, right? One only say, yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Is she going to sleep early tonight? Yeah, she is. Oh, mm -mm. no, she isn't. Pero si quieres ser un poquitito más comunicativo y dar un poquito más de información, me dice, yeah, she is going to sleep early tonight. She's very tired. O, o solamente, yeah, she's going to sleep early tonight. Oh, mm -mm. no, she isn't going to sleep early tonight. She has to finish a report. She has to do homework. She has to attend classes. No, she's not going to sleep early tonight. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, um, eat your poverty. <laughs> sleep early. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. My parrot doesn't sleep early. <laughs> Grande ojera loca que tiene porque. Yes, I imagine. <laughs> He doesn't sleep early, but bueno, go to sleep. Y está aquí porque mucho molesta cuando hay más gente. Vaya, vaya, vaya a dormir. No quiere meterse a su cama. Vaya, look at this. Any question here? No question. No question. No, teacher. Ok. Like a baby. And then going to remember what I was telling you. We use going to to talk about intentions. You have the intention to do something before you speak, right? So you say, we have already made a decision before speaking. Then you say, John has won the lottery. He says he's going to buy a porch. We're not going to paint our bedroom tomorrow. You made a decision. So the decision can be that you're going to do something or that you are not going to do something, right? For example, when you say, well, tomorrow, I'm not going to work in the morning. I made a decision. Substitution for tomorrow? Uh -uh. No, I'm not going to work in the morning. I'm going to sleep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When are you going to go on holiday? Hmm. I'm going to go on holiday. Como ya sabe, ¿verdad? I'm going to go on holiday. Yo no sé. March or April. ¿Cuándo cae Semana Santa? March, teacher. Uh, no, April. 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 Okay. When are you going to go on holiday? I'm going to go on holiday in April. Ay, no les creo. Hasta yes. abril cae. Yes. Oh, <laughs> see my, my, in San Miguel. ¿Qué pasó en San Miguel? El carnaval. No. Holidays, I am going to go to visit my, it's correct if I say parents-in-law. Your parents-in-law. I'm going to visit my parents-in-law. Mm -hmm. 
I am going to go. Uh -huh. I'm to going visit to my visit parents. My parents. Okay, what are you going to do on the weekend? What are you going to do on the weekend? I am going to clean very carefully my house. <laughs> I did that last week. I'm going to work. <laughs> You're going to work. Mm. Yes. On Sunday too? Yes, Sunday too. Oh. Yes, because. Okay. Ah, because you process. play office Tuesday. <laughs> uh -huh. What intent, or what plans or what intentions do you have for Tuesday? Yes. My intention is probably <laughs> going ah, no, to. No, 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 no. <laughs> si ya nos fuimos a probar, el going to It's ya no cabe allí. <laughs> yes. Porque cuando estamos going to, estamos Seguro. bien seguros. Exacto. O por lo menos a un 99.9. Así como oh. todo, ¿verdad? Que nada es al 100%. Al 99.9% seguro. Que no estoy seguro si dormir hasta las 12 o hasta la 1. Oh. Hasta las 12 y 59. Sí, exacto. Okay. <risa> Now check. We were saying that we will make predictions. We often use going to to make prediction about the future. So we can say, Luis is going to sleep until one. We predict that. Karen yes. is going, Karen, you're married. Are you married? No. no ah, okay. Teacher. Karen <laughs> is going, <laughs> Karen is going to get married next year. Y Karen así como que. Right? Eso es una a prediction, Karen. Ay, but, but, Ay okay. no me dicen ese mal. <risa> pero, no pero, invito. pero, fíjense que hay una cosa. Como estas predictions las hacemos basadas o basados en lo que vemos. ¿Sí? In something obvious, what we see. What we see, vea. What we see, what we hear. Entonces, son predictions basadas en algo obvio. Entonces, vemos que Karen anda con el novio y que van para ahí, para acá. Entonces, uh -huh. Karen is going to get married soon. Pero, si Karen, yo no le veo que tiene novio, podría ser una predicción, pero con will. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Ya más allá. Vamos a ver future con will. Y la diferencia es cuando hacemos, digo, prediction con will. Cuando hacemos una predicción usando will, es porque no estamos seguros de lo que estamos diciendo. Por ejemplo, a final de año que sale un montón de gente prediciendo, por ejemplo, ahorita la OMS ha predicho que la pandemia se acaba en cualquier momento este año. ¿Verdad? Al principio se atrevían a decir que a medio año. Hoy dicen, en cualquier momento de este año, se acaba la pandemia y después queda el COVID como una gripe común que ya nos quedamos acostumbrados a ella. ¿Verdad? Entonces, that is a prediction usando will. Porque no hay un parámetro que a mí me sirva así como de evidencia para poder yo hacer esa predicción. ¿Ya? So I can say, the pandemia will finish at any moment this year. Y como digo at any moment, no estoy dando nada certero, no puedo usar going to. Tengo que usar will. ¿Sí? Pero si usted me está haciendo una prediction basada en algo obvio, entonces, sí, vamos a usar going to. The sky is very black. It's going to snow, dirían en Estados Unidos. O cualquier otro país donde neva. Para nosotros sería, it's going to. Uy, está temblando. Very strong, teacher. Ay, padre, yo estoy enterada. 
Sí, está fuerte. Está, está fuerte. fuerte. Te cancela la clase. Me fue. <risa> Falta una hora. Ay, no. Seguimos Hay que cancelar la clase. Dice la que si no te no la hicimos, ¿verdad? It's no going to change todavía. todavía. Ajá. No está suave todavía. Todavía está temblando. Suave, sí. Teacher, until. Mire, yo ya morí aquí, nadie me vino a abrir la puerta. Está temblando todavía, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí no. despacio, poquito. Can I tell you something, teacher? Today morning I said to my husband, I think today is going to have a earthquake. An earthquake? No, yeah. no sé que está bien, pero un earthquake, ¿no? Muy feo. Uy, Temblorcito, no, papá. Pues, bueno, 28, ¿verdad? <ríe> Sigue temblando, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. O yo quedé temblando ya. No, es muy Mejor me muevo para no sentir que siga temblando. No, es que mi, mi silla tiene rueditas. Entonces, así como que está temblando o la silla se quedó moviéndose. Hoy sí, ya. Ya volvimos. Aquí, aquí, aquí como saben que está temblando y yo me quedo ahí donde estoy miren, no me vinieron ni a abrir la puerta no, ahí, chico, ahí quedó eh. pero Bye, usted tiene una ventaja yo tengo una desventaja ¿cuál es la, la desventaja suya? mi desventaja es que tengo a dos chicas aquí a la par que salen que me están acompañando en la clase que salen corriendo. No, que se quedan aquí a la par mía, no se mueven. Bye, no puede ir. Bye, es mi debutada. No se puede ir. A no, ver, ¿dónde, con el dos? ¿dónde habrá sido este epicentro? Fue fuertecito. Bastante. ¿Cuánto le calculan? A ver, hagan sus predictions. Maybe. Eh, Llegando five. a seis. Yes. Uh -huh. Mínimo 5.8. Mínimo. Probably. Ya tenemos así como un sensor de movimientos. Yes. Porque sí fue fuerte, <ríe> si no es que más. ¿Verdad? Yes. Pero anduvo por los, llegando a los sex. Okay, let's see the next prediction. It's 8.30. You're going to miss your train. Imagine the train leaves at 8.35. And you're still home. So like, hey, Judy, hurry up. It's 8.30. You're going to miss the train, right? Or you're going to miss the bus. En algunos países el bus tiene hora. Y ahí está. En la cartelera donde dice a qué hora va a pasar el bus. Si usted llega, mira, va a pasar a tal hora. ¿Qué hora son? Ah, ok, en cinco minutos. Y cabal, en cinco minutos llega. Aquí no tenemos hora de llegada del bus. ¿Verdad? Así como que medio calculando algo, algo, algo sabemos. Pero no hay una hora exacta. Now, what about this one? I crashed the car company or the company car. My boss. Okay. My boss isn't going to be very happy. Hmm? My boss isn't going to be very happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think? He's making a prediction in negative, right? A prediction in negative. Any questions here? Yes, could you repeat, repeat the explanation, please? Because I didn't put attention. The permission. 
the prohibition, the prediction. <laughs> That's what I was going to show. <laughs> Just the memo. The way to for prediction. <laughs> Just the memo of your cerebral. <laughs> <laughs> ya no me quedo, chaval. <risa> Ay, no, qué terrible. Espérenme, que hasta se me olvidó que es lo que venía a buscar yo por aquí. Ah, el manual. <risa> ¿Qué? Dígame. Ay, no. ¿Alguien es un teacher? Um, no, a little. Sha, sha. Lo que, lo que a mí me pone nerviosa ya cuando después de uno viene otro y después viene otro y después viene otro. Ahí sí, ¿se acuerdan? El 2001. Sí, el, el, el primero tranquilo. El primero tranquilo, no problema. El terremoto, yo estaba en clase. El, el, el que fue sábado, que fue en enero. Yo estaba en clase con niños de 11, 12 años, tan chiquita. Ya, tranquila, acá me se abre, guarden sus cositas, empezaron ellos despacito, guardar todo. En eso pasó el temblor. Después me reclamó una niña porque no le había, no los había sacado. Fui a tratar de abrir y no pude. Por eso ni me paré a tratar de abrir la puerta, porque cuando está temblando las puertas se cierran. De, no pude, yo, yo me acerqué a la puerta para abrir y sacarlos, pero la puerta se trabó, no pude abrir. Entonces, mejor me fui a sentar, me quise agarrar del podio y casi me cae encima. <ríe> Entonces, me quedé sentada. Le digo, guarden sus cosas y tranquilo, en lo que guardaron todo, terminó el terremoto. No pensé que fuera tan grave el de las colinas. Ya después, en febrero, que fue el otro, yo estaba con adultos, o sea, así como que, ah, ya cada quien es responsable, a ver, no pasa nada. Pero después se acuerdan que quedaron un montón de réplicas, así, que un fin de hubo un fin de semana que, que en un día hubieron como 10 réplicas fuertes, allí me quebré yo. O sea, cuando ya tanta réplica y réplica y que pasa, no habían noticias, nadie decía nada ni los noticieros, ni por molestar aparecía ninguno, ahí fue donde yo me quedé así, ¿qué está pasando? ¿verdad? Entonces, pero así que cuando empieza uno no, 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 no problem ya el, el susto cuando hay muchos así es que no todavía sobrevivimos Rosy, no problem vaya, check in your manual let me see what page I'm going to send you go to page 15 We go to page 15, exercise three. Page 15. A ver, a ver, a ver. Aquí está. Check. Mi cabal ahí estaba, ¿verdad? <laughs> Look at this from Travers Inc. Remember at the beginning, we were talking about the delivery service in El Salvador. Y miren qué bonito que salió a relucir delivery service, no solo dentro del país, pero también de fuera del país o hacia afuera, right? And here we have from Travers Inc. 23 to, and we have the name of the person here, Glen Way San Carlos CA, or California, right? San 0570 made in the USA. To Literal Road Number 34, La Unión, El Salvador. So, desde Los Ángeles para La Unión. And here you have the number of track, right? The tracking number is the same here. You have the tracking number. ¿Para qué sirve el tracking number? ¿Quién me puede decir? ¿Para qué sirve el tracking number? Es un número de seguimiento. Exactly. Desde aquí, por ejemplo, si usted pide algo a China, con el tracking number que le dan, usted puede ver si su producto ya viene, si ya llegó, 
salió de China para Colombia, de Colombia y lo mandan para acá, va a parar a correo, en correo si lo mandan a paquetería para mandárselo a su casa o si, eh, o si se lo van a mandar a su casa, si lo han guardado allá para, para que usted lo vaya a traer. Entonces, todo eso, para todo eso le sirve el tracking number. And there are some apps that can help you with that, right? They can help you follow your product, but you follow the product with this tracking number. Now, quantity, how many units? Only 65, right? And here you have the shipment. The shipment has a number, yeah? And then the sender, another number. So all this information that you have is very important for you to follow the product. What is the date when it is supposed to arrive? 12 April, 2013. What is the weight of the product? 120 pounds. So it depends on how much it weighs, how much you're going to pay, right? Okay, now, what you're going to do here is read the shipping label here, this one, right? Read the shipping label and then answer the questions. What is the shipping address? What is the mailing address? How many units are in the package? What is the manufacturing date? Okay, go ahead. Remember, we are on page 15, yeah? Go to page 15. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you finish.
Ya me van a caer encima unos libros. Okay, are you ready? Ready, ready. Yes. What is the shipping address? Travel in twenty three Glenway, San Carlos, CA. Mm -hmm. The chipping, chipping, chipping. Is it this one or the other one? I'm going to take you to the to to the man to the to the presentation. It is similar shipping the shipment teacher. The shipment is el envío y the shipping the shipping address es la dirección de envío. Ah, mm, okay. Es que shipment es como como noun, right? Mm -hmm. The noun shipment. Okay, the shipping address, <clears throat> I think it's a literal rule, number 34, La Unión El Salvador. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly, that's the shipping address. And the, and the second is uh, Traverse Inc, 23 Glenway, San Carlos, California, 0570. USA. Okay. So, <laughs> uh -huh. What is the next question? How many units? How many units do we have here? 60, 65. 65 units. Next okay. question over there. What is the manufacturing date? Is a uh, twelve or April uh, two thousand thirteen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Check the check the the <laughs> <laughs> check the abbreviations, right? The letters that you have there as abbreviations. Oh. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. A ver. So we have. Fíjese que no es April. No es 12 of April. En inglés, nosotros ponemos primero el mes y después oh, yes. el día. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Ajá. Así que. Es de 
April 12. Mm -hmm. Primero el mes y después el día. Yeah. December 4. Ajá. Yes, December. Prim December 4. 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 Dicen que el temblor fue de magnitud 5.4 frente a la costa de Usulután. Yo ah, creo que estos sensores ya no sirven. Ya no. Se sintió demasiado fuerte, ¿verdad? Para <ríe> sí. Ay, no. Es para qué. Bueno, ya teníamos años de no sentir. ¿De verdad que sí? Sí. Sí. Pero vaya. Qué tremendo. Va. Okay. So we say the shipping address. The shipping address is. ¿Qué significa shipping? División de envío. ¿Qué envío. significa shipping? Envío. Dirección de envío. Ajá. Shipping es envío. Ajá. De shipping address es la dirección de envío. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la dirección de envío? El destino. To Literal Road 34, La Unión, El Salvador. Uh -huh. Ok. So the shipping address is. Vaya, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Porque aquí tienen, vamos a ver, tienen shipping address y también tienen mailing address. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre las dos? Ajá. Una es el origen y la otra es el destino. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cuál es la de envío y cuál es la de que una es de envío y la otra mailing? Acuérdense que es mailing es donde usted recibe correspondencia, ¿verdad? En todo caso, shipping, shipping sería shipping. from Travers King. Ajá. From. Pero no es. Pero no es la misma la postal. Creo que me, me dice from? que es postal, es un número entonces. ¿Cuál es la dirección de envío? ¿La que envía o, la, o a dónde le van a enviar? Dirección de envío es a dónde la van a enviar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Y la mailing address? ¿De dónde va? Ajá. ¿La mailing address? Es una dirección postal, dice. La dirección postal. ¿Sería la misma? Pero la dirección postal tiene un número. Porque vaya, la dirección de envío o dirección de entrega le puede decir también, ¿verdad? Que es el shipping address. Pero, ¿y what about the mailing address? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cómo se escribe la dirección postal de un... De un... Por ejemplo, para San Salvador es... 503, right? Uh -huh. And then we have one that is the billing address. Billing. Billing address es la dirección de facturación. ¿Quién va a pagar? Yes. 
otras la, palabras como, como en ¿Quién número paga? Uno. La dirección del que va a pagar. Póngale que yo estoy haciendo un envío hacia allá donde está Luis, hasta Huachapán. A Luis le va a llegar, pero yo voy a pagar. ¿Sí? Entonces, the billing address puede ser diferente al shipping address. ¿Yes? Yes. Ok. Pasha, vamos a ver. Eh, we said there are 65 units on December 4th. That's okay. Perfect. And then we go to your creation. Let's go back to the manual here. In this kind, teacher, excuse me, in this kind of, of presentation, it's from. What did you say? This kind of presentation, it's from when when the things come from a boat or or could be in airplane in. Fíjese in que fíjese the, que ellos le llaman shipping. Pero no necesariamente, me imagino yo que es porque antes eh, lo que más se ocupaba era un chip, ¿verdad? Pero ahora ya le quedó el nombre de shipping, shipping eh, como envío, pero aunque pueda viajar por, por, por barco, por tren, por avión, no, 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 no importa, ¿verdad? En qué medio viene, pero lo importante es que... Eh, que es la dirección de envío, ¿verdad? El shipping. Vaya, vamos a ver. Entonces, lo que les decía, la shipping address y el billing address, algunas veces puede ser la misma, pero en otras veces no, ¿verdad? Como el ejemplo que yo les ponía. Si yo mando algo, yo voy a pagar, pero la persona, otra persona lo va a recibir. The shipping address and the billing address will be different. Pero si el que paga es el que va a recibir, entonces es la dirección va a ser la misma. Ok, now in your manuals, vámonos al manual otra vez. Se ve. Ay, no. Vamos a ver. Now it's your time for you to be creative. Let's see, we where is my book? Now it's time for you to be creative and you're going to work in pairs. Let me see. Let's go to page number 16, exercise five. Ahorita les comparto. Aquí está. Okay. Remember, we have been talking about uh, going to positive, negative. Now it's time for you to put into practice and put the words in order and then answer the questions. So that's why I say it's time for you to be creative because you're going to make the questions, but you will also answer the questions. Yeah. Asha, go ahead.
Okay. You let me know when you finish. Mm, before I forget. Hoy se queda. Vamos a ver quién. Hoy se queda conmigo Grace Michelle. Sure. Yeah. Tell me. ¿Quién dijo teacher? Judy. No, teacher, usted dijo que um, Grace le toca o quedarse hoy. Sí. Ok, yo dije, ok, teacher. Ah, ok. <ríe> yo dije, ¿quién me dijo? Ok, thank you, Grace. Well, I'm going to call attendance while you finish, oye. Así después, chicos. Ana, present. Yes, here I am. Ok, Carolina. Present teacher. Nice. Edwin. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Isabel. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Juan Jose. Hello, present. Karen Jadet. Present teacher. Uh, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. Noé. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Teresa de Jesús. Yuri Alexandra. Okay. Y David. No David here today. Ok. Está. Very good. Mm -hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Ready, ready. Teacher, I was looking examples at Google to see what the labels are. Uh huh. And only, only I can see they said from ship to wait. And then item, item, and are a lot of numbers. But mm, it's only a company name, from, to, and the, the other one have um, the numbers that you said, the, the one that is saying the- The tracking number? Uh -huh. and the other is the, I, I have to see, I lost it. The date. Excuse me, it's a little bit difficult to see, to read it. The, the paper cases, I can see, okay. Dice, lot number, ship date, eh, order number, and item, NR. MR. Mm 
you have the manufacturing date. And here that you have the sender, the sender is the person, eh, recuerden que tienen que saber quién, quién es la persona cargo, right? Siempre, siempre. So the sender, this is like, you have a number in your company, right? So this is the sender. ¿Y qué número es el envío? Es este. 7A4. Mm -hmm. If you see this number, it's here and here. Right? It's the same. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Basha, let's see, tell me. What is number one? Number one? Where are they going to pick up the package? Where are they going to pick up? Let's see. Where are they going to pick up? the package. The package. Where are they going to pick up the package? Mm -hmm. Maybe at the post office. Mm -hmm. What about the, the next? Airport. At the airport? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the second question? Who, who is going to <clears throat> receive the shipping? Who's going to receive the shipping? Me? My brother, uh, my sister, my mother. <laughs> Probably the ship. <laughs> no, who? ¿Quién lo va a recibir? The ship, no, you? Somebody, somebody at sorry. home? Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I procedure, friends. It's correct to say that. For example, sender, receiver, no. No hay receiver en este, fíjense. <laughs> Uh -huh. Pero usualmente le preguntan quién lo va a recibir. Por ejemplo, si usted va a EPA y pide un producto, ellos le preguntan quién lo va a recibir. Y toman el nombre, el número de teléfono de la persona que lo va a recibir. Para estar seguros de que van a llegar con el producto cuando hay alguien en casa. Right? Ok, what about the last one? When, when, is going when is going to arrive the new material? When is? ¿Cuál es el subject? When is going to arrive? When is? Nos falta el subject. Going to. ¿Y el, y el subject? Arrive. 
the new material. Arrive is the verb, uh -huh. the new material. When is the new material? material? Uh-huh. Material, material going to arrive. Sí, porque arrive es mi verbo, ¿verdad? When is the new material going to arrive? ¿Ya? Yeah? When? Tomorrow. The new material is going to arrive tomorrow. Or the new material is going to arrive next Monday at 3 p.m. Okay. Well, we have gone to the end for today. Ya pasamos attendance. Así es que bueno. A descansar el fin de semana. Chequen si me deben tarea la hacen. Y a okay. dormir. <laughs> night night, teacher. Y a dormir. Good night. Happy weekend. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. You See you next time, teacher. Mm? Thank you. Blessing. Thank you. Thank you. A dormir. <laughs> Hi, Grace. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, I'm huh? fine. And you? Are you still working? No. Si me tocó trabajar, si ya salí de trabajar. Ajá. ¿Todavía está trabajando? No, ya estoy oh. en mi casa. Ah, va. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Sí. Ok. Now. Este, teacher, yo le quería hacer una pregunta aprovechando que me tocó hoy. Dígame. Este, fíjese que me hicieron una pregunta y realmente no, no supe cómo, cómo responder. Pero, ¿por qué GIF al conjugarlo o al darle otra, o al expresarlo de otra manera, se convierte en give me o en give? Y no Ay. es como conjugamos el otro verbo que se le agrega ING o eso, no. Bye. Ahí vamos a compartir pantalla para poderle ayudar allí. Quiero ver, no, se me fue al fin. Ahí está. Vaya, check. Cuando nosotros estamos hablando de give, give, el verbo es give, ¿verdad? Usted puede también tener tell, puede tener call, o sea, cualquier verbo. Y le estoy poniendo estos verbos porque a ellos les puede agregar me. Entonces usted puede decir give me, give me a dollar. Tell me the answer. Call me later. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Give me a dollar. Lo que aquí sucede. Dólar. Dólar. Sí, vean. Tell me the answer. Estas, ¿se acuerda cuando hablábamos de los imperatives? Sí. A estos son imperatives. Porque si usted se fija, no tienen subject. ¿Verdad? Tell uh -huh. me the answer. Sino que les está dando una orden. Call me later. Call me tomorrow. Call me at six. Si usted está dándole una orden a alguien. Entonces aquí, call me. Pero este me podría ser him. Podría ser her. Usted puede decir, call her. Call her later. Es él, ¿verdad? Call her. Llámele a ella. Ah, oh, ok. Ella, mm -hmm. ella. Sí, sí. Tell him the answer. Ah, Dígale yes. a él. Entonces, ¿puede cambiar este me por him, her? Que puede ser him, puede ser her, puede ser them. Tell them, give them, dele a ellos. Si, por ejemplo, 
están repartiendo sándwiches. Y usted dice, give them a sandwich. Dele a ellos un sándwich. Give her a sandwich. Give him a sandwich. Entonces, esto va a depender de sobre quién queremos que suceda la acción. Ok, ¿Sí? pero en el caso de give, ¿por qué cambia? O sea, give de regalo, ¿por qué se vuelve como no Vaya, sé? Cómo... Regalo no sé si... es gift. Ok, ajá. Este es gift. gift. Y usted aquí lo que está haciendo es un imperativo. ¿Verdad? Oh, Pero usted no. perfectamente, vamos a agregar otra página acá, usted perfectamente podría decir I'm giving I'm giving ¿Qué estás haciendo? I'm giving a class I'm giving a class. ¿Qué está haciendo ahorita, Soyla? Ah, I'm giving a class. Recibir. Pues, sí puede usarlo. Usted perfectamente puede conjugar el verbo give. Give. Su verbo es give. En tercera persona va a ser gives. ¿Verdad? Con S. Con S. Puede también decir gave en pasado. Entonces, usted puede conjugar el verbo muy bien. Lo único que la forma en que usted se lo presentaron ahí como give me, era dame. Dame. Una orden. Ajá, dame. Pero si usted dice, vaya, en el present participle, giving. En el pasado participio, given. Aquí lo está conjugando el verbo. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es utilizarlo. ¿Verdad? Usted dice, I'm giving a class. She gave me. O she gave. Eh, a present. Porque aquí podemos cambiar. En vez de she gave her a present. Puede decir, she gave a present. To her mother, a su mamá. She gave a present to her mother. Entonces ahí perfectamente usted está conjugando el verbo como cualquiera. Yo fui al cine, I went to the movies, I gave her a present, I gave money to a boy in the street. I played soccer. Entonces, usted puede perfectamente utilizar el verbo en pasado. Lo puede usar en presente. She gives money to people in the street. Entonces, no, digamos sí. que give Ajá. es como el mismo verbo give, pero en... en Conjugado. Conjugado. conjugado, ajá, eso, conjugado. He gives money to, to people in the street. Ok. Ay, que me, es la pregunta que me ponía era como, ¿cómo ponía give, gift? Uh -huh. eh, o sea, regalo como tal. Eh, como por ejemplo, me decía, quiero ver, me puso que la pregunta decía como... You, eh, pero el you iba de último en la pregunta, porque decía que en la, como quieres regalarme una bicicleta o algo así, pero el you, la persona lo ponía de último, como, como si esa o, la, entonces le digo, si es una pregunta, el you tendría que ir como al inicio, Ajá. Por, porque es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿De quién estamos hablando? ¿De Sí, no lo puede poner de último, aunque al traducirlo, si se traduce de manera correcta, o sea, como tú quieres regalarme una bicicleta, pero me decía él que porque no podía poner como tú, o oh, quiero ver, eh, you give me, yo le decía que lo, 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 lo correcto tendría que ser you give me a bicycle o algo así, ¿verdad? Eh, pero él me decía que era como diferente, pero que utilizaban give que él quería utilizar la palabra gift. Es que es un compañero ¿verdad? que estamos estudiando inglés en otra academia y eh, conversamos sobre temas de inglés. 
Entonces él me preguntaba que por qué no podía poner GIF y le digo, es que GIF es regalo, pero GIF también. Entonces, es yo, que no en entiendo. este caso GIF no es regalo, GIF significa dar. Oh. Dar, porque GIF es un verbo. El que es regalo es el que le puse en el anterior, que es Ajá. gift. Este es regalo. Gift. Ajá. Give no. Give no es regalo, es regalar. Dar. Ah, regalar. regalar o dar. Ah, ¿Me ah. quieres regalar una bicicleta? Entonces es para give. Ajá, give. Ok. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y give quieres... es como regalo ahorita, como. Presente. No, es un regalo, o sea, es un presente. She gave me a gift. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, vamos a ver, nos vamos a ir a la página anterior. Si usted dice, she gave me, she gave me, vamos a conjugarlo a pasado. ¿Verdad? She gave me a gift. O sea que ella me dio un regalo. ¿Ya? She gave uh -huh. me a gift. Uh -huh. Este dar, pero en pasado dio. Y este es regalo. Ella me dio un regalo. Uh -huh. She gave Se me a gift. Ajá. Uh -huh. She gave me a gift. Es que eso yo, me confundió lo que él me preguntó con lo que yo me sabía. Y entonces yo dije, no, yo le voy a preguntar. Pensé en preguntarse en la clase, pero es que no salió nada que tuviera que ver con la conjugación de los verbos. <risa> Entonces no supe cómo preguntar. Entonces, casualmente que ahora me, no, me tocó a mí y le voy a preguntar porque me confundió en el hecho en que no podía utilizar ambas palabras en una misma oración porque significaban lo mismo. Uh -huh. Entonces, le digo, Eso no, sí puede. Porque gift es regalo y que es regalá, eh, regaló. Da, ajá. Ahora ya, ya, ya con, volví a mi idea, o sea, lo que yo sabía que podía utilizar. Pero sí, es que él me ponía, por ejemplo, el, eh, la pregunta era bien complicada, pero la cosa es que la, la formulaba a la hora de traducirla al español. Sí Nada, se entendía que me... lo que quería preguntar. pero Dígale que, uno... que le dé la pregunta, que le haga la pregunta mañana y me la escribe. Vamos a ver qué es lo que le estaba preguntando. Ajá, porque era como, me quieres regalar una bicicleta, pero lo último que ponía era you. O sea, decía... I, I can, no sé qué, me ponía él así, y él me, pero era como una pregunta que él le habían hecho en la clase para, quizás le están enseñando cómo conjugar el verbo también. Ajá, ajá. Entonces me ponía bien rara la pregunta y me dice, ¿y se puede así? Y porque a ellos netamente, o sea, yo, si solo me habla inglés, hay algunas cosas que yo no las logro captar, o sea, no las entiendo. Necesito que me las expliquen en español. Y dice que a ellos no les explican ni una palabra en español, todo es en inglés. Entonces, Escriba, cuando tiene dudas, me pregunta. Escríbame la pregunta mañana para ya ver, a, que, ya, ajá, ya para, a ajá, que para ver qué, qué era lo que, lo que quería preguntarle. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Ya le digo. Y le, que se le escribo para que me, me resuelva y explicarle a él. Ya le voy a explicar cómo es que se usa el verbo realmente. Exacto. Es, eso sí me quedó bastante confundido. Pues sí, pues sí. Sí, esa es una de las desventajas, pero eh, al mismo tiempo se, se aprende. Sí. Eso sirve para aprender más. Sí, uh -huh. le agradezco, Ticho. Claro que sí, claro que sí, estamos a la orden. Bueno. Vaya, ya, pues. De, de eso fue la clase. ¿eh? Eso. Muy bien, cuídese y a descansar el fin de semana. Ay, y nos me vemos toca el lunes, primero Dios. Ah, ah. Ok, bueno, ni modo, ¿verdad? Sí, pero así toca. Así toca, cabal. Bueno, descanse usted que usted Bye, wait, toca Grace. Descanse. Thank you, bueno, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good night. Good night.